So if I could compare this anime to anything, I'd compare it to the movie Birdman. That's right. Except, you know, there's not as much cursing, or New York City, or the main character running through a city in her underwear, which I actually would have liked to have seen in this. Just cute title scene. Gekin Shoujo Nozaki-kun, or Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun, is a show that surprisingly is not about a guy named Nozaki-kun, it's about a guy named, a girl named Chiyo Sakura, and how she is interested in Nozaki-kun, and because of this it is a romantic comedy where you see this girl try to make it with a guy who looks way too old to be in high school and she kind of looks 13, in some scenes. Yeah, this might get creepy. But the thing is, is that this anime is actually really excellent. That's right, no pulling punches. There's a reason I compared this to Birdman. And that is because this series is everything you want out of something that is trying to be romantic or talk about that stuff. It's intelligent. It's fast-paced. It's funny. You like all the characters. It keeps itself going. And it never tries to rely on any cheap cliches. Or does it? Yes, it does. But it actually takes those cliches and puts them in a new, fresh way that feels very much like respecting the audience's intelligence and saying, see, this is how you do stuff like that. And that is why this series is so perfect. I really enjoyed every second of that, and a lot of that has to do with our characters. Especially because when Nozaki comes on screen, basically, again, Chio. A very typical sort of teenage girl, she wants Nozaki-kun, she's in love with him, and when she goes to ask him out, he is of course completely oblivious and takes it because he is a manga writer who writes these romantic comedy type stories. And the thing is, is that naturally you'd expect, you know, he's going to be this straight, uninteresting, no humor out of him. And yeah, that's right, and that's why it works. You get this sense that he is an observer on romantic stories, not really someone who understands them. He knows how to do them to make them good, but that's about it. And because of this, he keeps things very fresh, because you always get this take from him that feels like an observation. You feel like there's commentating on the way this stuff is done in today's world, and you see how that contradicts Sakura, who does very much read a lot of this stuff, believe a lot of this stuff, and throughout the series has moments where she tries to enact it, thinking that's going to work, and you see that go against her, and how that doesn't really work. And that's why this series is so good, because it knows how to present everything in an intelligent way, and even with the side characters that's done right. It does this thing where common male stereotypical traits are on girls, and the girl traits are on guys, and yeah, we've seen that done before, but the thing is, it isn't really done in a way that is quite this outrageous and quite this effective. Like I said, I didn't dislike anyone. Everyone was funny, everyone had their moments to shine, and everyone was done in a way that where you could really believe them. I almost don't want to talk about them too much because you've got to see it for yourself. They're so insanely hilarious. And that just is the overall tone of this show. It's very pleasant. It's very happy. Very nice paced. Nothing really serious happens, but that's sort of the fun with it. It's very lighthearted, yet it really knows how to talk about things and present things. And that is what really made it work. It. The animation is nice. I mean, again, girls, I like a little bit of that. The thing is, is that, really, it just combines all that. It has a very nice score that keeps you into a scene, and it knows how to use the score really to set up a pace. And i got to commend the acting in this. Everyone had perfect comedic timing. They knew how to give their characters personality. They knew how to also keep it in line with where the script was going, especially our main character, Sakura, who was hilarious. I mean, there's some, you know, quirky little gags with her, but for the most part, it's a very actress-driven performance. I don't know the name of the actress, and I really can't judge Japanese performances because I don't speak Japanese, but the comedicness of it always came through. She knew how to give the right voices, she knew how to keep her pacing quick, everything worked, and it made the character hilarious. Now, are there any problems? Yeah. Not many. Um, it's not anything big, but a lot of little things. A big problem I had with it, even though the animation was nice, I didn't care for the way Nozaki looked. I'm sorry, he just looks way too old to be in this, and I know that's part of the joke that he does seem so out of place compared to everyone else, but I don't think it was served well. Even though Sakura is a nice character, I would have liked it if her and Nozaki had more scenes together, 
as I really didn't get a sense as the series went throughout that getting together was something it was focusing on, and it wasn't, but the thing is that when your series is presenting itself about these two getting together, you would have liked to see that more. Also, it's the return of Slapstick. Look, as I said in the Tunevia review, I don't mind Slapstick, but when it's just thrown into something that's supposed to be more or less realistic, it really doesn't work here. It's reserved to only two characters, but that kind of makes it work because it just makes it seem so out of place. And even though I got the joke, it didn't really work on me. Also, the female in that situation was supposed to be like, she looks like a boy, but she doesn't bother her. I think that would bother someone. But other than that, the series is very fast-paced, very hilarious, and always keeps itself upbeat. And because of this, this series, Gekken Shoujo no Zaki-kun, is a 9 out of 10 on the comedy scale. I say comedy, I would say romantic comedy, but again, not enough romanticness in this. But did you think so? In the comments section below, tell me what you think a good romantic comedy needs. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe, because like the main character of this show, I strive to show you excellence.